hey, if you want your NAS to turn into something like this, or this, or something like that, then watch this video. Because we're going to talk about Docker and uh, what you can do, a few, few fun things you can do with it. Because people have been um, asking, what can you do with your NAS? Because once you set it up and use it for backups and fast storage, you kind of forget about it because it does its job. You only know or talk about your NAS only when something's going wrong. <laughs> but if it doesn't, it's kind of boring. But um, it's only boring if you want it to be boring. So fun things uh, people are doing. I found on the forum, on Synology forum, uh, are people asking what, uh, what, what, what sort of Docker's you're using. And um, uh, let's start with what is Docker actually. Docker is something similar like virtual machine, but, but if you don't know what this virtual machines means that on a NAS, the the resources you got, you know, this memory and, and CPU and everything and hard drives, uh, this Docker borrows little bit of resources from all of these uh, uh, things and, and turns them into a some, some sort of microscopic, like miniature, um, a server of something of application it, it, that would be probably better description some sort of app and uh, if you have QNAP uh, you can install uh, the container station they don't call it docker but they call it container station it consists of uh, Alexi and docker uh, the requirements are pretty simple all they ask for is uh, one gigabyte of memory it's slightly more difficult with Synology NAS it need to be plus series NAS with uh, um, Celeron based uh, CPU at least, or something more difficult like Xeon or something, or, or Ryzen. So these are the models you, you might need. If you have one of these models, yeah, you're the lucky one. You can actually do some fun stuff with your NAS. So first thing, I'm just gonna go through because many of these things I'm not using myself, but I just made a list of things what others in the forums are talking about what they're using so maybe it's gonna actually help you to discover new new apps you can actually install through this uh, docker thing so so first of all this Restia is open source uh, system where you can create your boards uh, tasks to do's and chats this is um, probably good for a business if you're using your NAS only for file storage you could actually turn it in some sort of management system some sort of um, um, planning a system where you can create to do things and and follow up with your team and, and things like that uh, these are this is the, just a list of things you can do like loads you can do charts you can do boards and to do's list and blah. just you can type in this URL and check yourself let's just whiz through all these things uh, what you can do very quickly because they are quite a lot the second thing is home kit so if you want to turn you your home into a smart home and have access to things like uh, Alexa maybe on and ring or your doorbell and, and then control your temperature and check what the temperatures are and lights and switches and stuff like that you can link it all together through this uh, home bridge uh, the other thing you can turn your NAS into a forum or called flap flarum <laughs> um, it's open source it's free and it's actually quite uh, function rich you can do things like uh, you would need to pay for the service to actually to do the things like this and this is for free and you can install it very fairly easily that's called Flarum and uh, moving on we can now uh, do even cryptocurrency mining it's like Chia if you probably have heard about this lately you can install a docker so it's going to borrow some resources and use your storage space on your NAS to plot to do some farming of this coin and uh, you, you might actually make some money on that at the back of this. So instead of having your NAS, having all this storage capacity available and not using it, you could actually make it work. Uh, moving on, maybe you might be interested in Bitwarden, which is a um, um, password manager. If you don't trust your Google Chrome to say passwords or, <clears throat> or um, Mozilla um, or any other service you use, you can use your own Bitwarden. <clears throat> so your um, passwords are saved on your NAS safe and sound maybe you want something like Berkstack. um that's a uh, some sort of um content management system i can see um this you can manage your photos edit some uh, pages and make maybe your own books moving on uh tiny rss if you're still 
uh, using RSS a way of um, following news. So if you don't want to uh, get bombarded by emails or go to hundreds of pages and follow what, what, what is going on, what's new on the internet, you can still use tiny RSS and port those RSS feeds and you'll get notified what is new. So you can follow only things you care about. Um, Blink server, what is that? Um, platform for iOS and Android applications, <clears throat> similar to Raspberry Pi. Maybe something for you. I don't know, what is that? Some sort of management system as well. Um, moving on, DAC DNS, free dynamic DNS hosted on AWS. Something people use. I'm not using this personally. File share, <clears throat> other way of sharing files. So if you're not using Snowgeo Cuna built in sharing options, you can go for file share option. Um, Let's move on. Uh, your documents and so on. Mayan ADMS, EDMS, web based, cross platform, free, open source. Uh, that's document versions. Uh, so, probably this would be installed on things like Ace Store where they are not offering uh, functions like uh, Synology or QNAP where you can actually go into different versions and, uh, and uh, f folder snapshots and things like that. You might use this. Uh, PE Hall. And uh, you know, that's like little uh, mini computer which um, people use to save some energy and, and do things uh, auto, like automation and things like that. Um, so, you might integrate this as well for smart homes and stuff like that. Um, open VPN, uh, maybe this is something you can consider. So, you can create a secure tunnel between uh, your NAS and, and destination device. Uh, jacket that's for those who love um, torrents and stuff so you can integrate all those torrent feeds into one manageable system where you can search things and and then get notified what's new what's released and stuff this is, is part of um, sonar as well people usually group them together with sonar and um, and other things uh, then uh, grafana labs this is something um, as well like a dashboard System, system. You can see some resources about something. Um, Resilio, something as well, or synchronizing your uh, data between different platforms. Mm. You, you may use that using uh, point to point uh, uh, option con as functionality. Uh, Duplicat T2.0. Uh, maybe if you want to uh, back up things as well. Uh, this is a cr different works on different platforms. If you don't like to use Drive app, which might be uh, too resource demanding, so you want something simpler. So then in those cases, you might actually ac activate Docker and have an application like Duplicati. Um, so Tulis, like an extension, uh, support sort of app for Plex. Um, moving on, Charlie. Um, super fast, date by free bookmarking service. So if you want to store your bookmarks, instead of uh, on the top bar somewhere in the Chrome, uh, you want to uh, save those bookmarks somewhere down on your NAS or something, you can use this service. Um, Splunk, um, what is that? Some sort of dashboard as well, IT operations and all sort of things you can have a look. I don't know what is this, but this is what people use Docker for. So maybe you can as well. Uh, comment or maybe you can uh, create your own commenting system because there are a few uh, free free commenting systems and plugins you can use for your WordPress and stuff but uh, free versions usually involve um, having ads uh, displayed among this content among those comments so this is the price you pay if you go for commento that would be your own open source um, commenting system you could use um, rocket chat if you want to run your own chat if you don't like Synology chat, you can go for this one. It's much uh, less resource demanding again. A YouTube DL server, if you want to download uh, YouTube videos and all that having automated. Um, Ombi. Uh, Ombi allows you to host your own Plex requests. Something for Plex users. Um, moving on. Heimdall. This is hmm, a way to organize all links. And websites, so it's also some sort of bookmark service. 
So maybe this is something you might be interested in. Uh, lead artists, again, for people who love torrents and stuff and, and merged into all, all these feeds of um, torrents available, what's coming on on the feeds and what's not, and organizing basically your things. Jacket, um, I think we mentioned this already. Telegraph, agent for collecting metrics and writing them into Influx database. I'm not using that, maybe you may find use for it. Um, Bookstack, free open source wiki designed for creating beautiful documentation. So if you want to create your own wiki site, um, maybe it's for business, uh, for internal knowledge base and stuff like that, then you may install this. NZB get, um, that's um, again for torrent lovers. I think those who are using torrents, they already know what this is. Um, moving on to ReTorrent, some minim, minim, mini version of torrent. Uh, if you can't have um, this torrent app installed in your NAS, then uh, you can go for a Docker version, uh, which is less resource demanding. Uh, KeyWeb, cross password manager. Again, if you want to save your passwords, this is one of the other alternatives you can use to store your passwords. Unify, if you want to um, control your network uh, rules and you know, settings, then this is something you can install. Uh, Air Sonic, uh, this is a, like a SoundCloud system when you want to host your own music and, and stream it. You can use install that <clears throat> if you don't like audio station or DS audio. Um, next one is Corsal Core cross-platform IRC. So you may be uh, still using IRC instead of Skype or any other chats. You want your private chats created and things like that. So IRC is still alive. You can still use it using this Docker. Um, maybe you want the Micron server. Why not? You can you can run your own what micro server on your NAS. That's one of the options. Handbrake. That's for converting your videos. They are converting any sort of video into any other form or shape of a video. So for example, if your TV or a tablet or phone doesn't support certain video files, Handbrake is gonna transcode them into something playable so they can actually watch videos we can play. Um, paperless, that's again for some uh, businesses probably. You can now uh, have, uh, I think they do OCR systems as well that you can scan through documents and manage them, save them and turn them into digital things. Redis, open source network in memory key value, you take the store for optional durability. I don't know what is that, um, but you may be finding use for it. I don't know, but apparently it's popular, Redis. Moving on, paper merge again, one of the document management systems. I think this one got OCR for sure, PDFs support, <clears throat> so you can manage your documents. Um, Bazaar. Uh, just, uh, again, it complements sonar and radar, all torrent stuff. Um, I'm not going to go deeper in that. <clears throat> and Spotweb as well. You can um, follow some sort of uh, web content. You can follow uh, some feeds as well and stuff like that. So I hope this was helpful. If you if you got any other ideas, maybe you got your different Docker images you are using and um, I didn't mention them, so maybe you can put them in comments. So other people can uh, discover things they could do with their NAS using Docker. So put, make sure you put them on the comments there. Um, if you got any other comments, you can put it in the comments, send an email to info NAS Compares or go to NAS Compares, fill the form on the right hand side, ask your question and we're going to make video like this. Um, maybe you want us to talk more about certain Docker application so we can go deeper into those subjects and discuss, uh, cover them. I uh, hope this was helpful uh, and cheerio.